and known as the Pillowcase Rapist in Sacramento, has been sentenced to decades in prison again. That's right. CBS 13's Hunter Sowards is with us in studio tonight with the new life term just handed down in Kern County, Hunter. Yeah, guys, of course, a case that we have been following for years now, Ronald Feldmeyer spent three decades in prison after he was convicted in a series of sexual assaults that terrorized Sacramento back in the 1980s. Now, the judge says he never should have been released. Feldmeyer originally convicted of more than a dozen counts of rape, sodomy, and burglary. He was dubbed the pillowcase rapist because he would place pillowcases over his victim's head, the youngest just four years old. In 2019, though, after serving only half his sentence, he was granted parole and resettled in Bakersfield. That's where last year he kidnapped a woman who was hitchhiking, forcing her to jump from a moving car to escape. We spoke to the mother of one of the original victims who said that crime may have actually been a blessing. Like almost like a blessing in disguise. That there was a new victim that came out okay. You know, I'm sure she's traumatized too, but. He was going to do it to somebody, so at least the way this happened, he got caught. Just so sad that it took that for him to be placed back behind those bars for good now. In this latest case, Feldmeyer was sentenced to 25 years to life plus 13 years in prison. But, of course, the big question on everyone's mind, how was he released early and why CBS 13 investigates found he had earned half-time credit based on an old state law? Mm. All right, Hunter, thanks for the update on that troubling case. Yeah. Tonight, 